From the News Channel 5 Network, hi everyone, I'm Rory Johnston with your latest headlines and the manhunt for an accused killer intensifies as of Wednesday afternoon, 3 p.m. Sources close to the investigation tell us that they have Kirby Wallace cornered. Stewart County Sheriff Frankie Gray confirmed an officer spotted him in a field in Montgomery County earlier this afternoon. Wallace has been on the run for more than a week and is wanted by the TBI on multiple charges, including first degree murder and aggravated robbery. Residents in Stewart and Montgomery counties are asked to stay inside their homes and keep their doors locked. Check newschannel5.com for the very latest updates. Police have identified 25 year old D'Angelo Knox as the person killed in a shooting near a popular restaurant in busy East Nashville. The incident happened Tuesday night in front of the pharmacy, burger parlor, parlor and beer garden and right near Mastacos. According to officials, Knox was killed during an exchange of gunfire after two vehicles opened fire on each other. No arrests have been made yet. And this just in, the family of the sophomore linebacker at Tennessee State University who was injured during a game held a news conference today at Vanderbilt University Medical Center. Christian Abercrombie collapsed on the sideline before the end of the second quarter of Saturday's game from a brain injury. His parents thanked everyone for their love and support and said the family's hopeful that he will pull through. They still don't know what caused the head injury. A GoFundMe account has been set up for the family. We have a link for you on our website where you can donate. Downtown Nashville is getting a Publix grocery store. It's set to open next fall. The retailer announced today the store is coming to the Capitol View development right on Charlotte Avenue. The location will be downtown Nashville's first full service grocery store featuring everything from a deli to a pharmacy. Free parking will be available in Capitol View's covered garage. All right, it's Wednesday. How's the weather shaping up, Bree? Unfortunately, our heat wave just continues to roll overnight tonight. Muggy again down into the upper 60s. Barely we will spend most of the night in the upper 70s. Some fog near our waterways, but that will burn off quickly and we're looking at an even hotter afternoon on Thursday. Upper 80s. Some folks may even start to flirt with that 90 degree mark as early as tomorrow. Not impossible to see a stray shower or storm on Thursday, but all in all plan on a dry, hot, very summer like afternoon. October certainly still not getting the fall memo near 90 by Friday. It will keep it hot and dry for the weekend.